Okay, today I'm going to be talking to you about your sex drive and aging. Three ways to continue your sex drive and even turn it back around. 40, 50, 60, it feels like you're walking the plank, but you can turn the ship around. Cheesy, I know. <laughs> so firstly, why does our sex drive die? Well, there are many reasons. There is menopause. You can have some vaginal dryness, which can be very uncomfortable and painful. And to me, that doesn't sound like that's something I would want to do if it's going to be uncomfortable and painful. Plus a whole heap of other things that come on with menopause. Holy hell. There is medication. So some medications can absolutely kill your libido. And some nasty side effects that would make you not want to get out of the bed, let alone have sex. The relationship. If the relationship is rocky or, you know, there, there's no spark anymore, it can be hard to get the drive to have sex. And there might even be a little bit of resentment there. Your general health. If you are not living a healthy lifestyle, eating good food and moving, you're going to be in a lot more pain and your body isn't going to want to participate. Mental health. Mental health plays a big part in it as well. If you are feeling anxious or depressed, if you're stressed, then it's going to be difficult to get the drive. And lastly, your hormone levels, specifically testosterone. So, what are those three steps that you can take to get your sex drive in a good place? Firstly, I will always recommend visiting your GP. They can rule out any medical issues, which are very important. So they can check your hormone levels, they can check your general health, your blood pressure, your heart, you know, they can get yourself checked out to rule out any medical issues because that can play a huge part in you feeling generally like crap, but especially in your sex life, they can help with that. And they can also check your medication, because like I said, medication can bring on some nasty side effects, a low libido being one of them. Step number two, lifestyle. Get yourself healthy. You don't have to be hardcore to be healthy. Generally eat good food most of the time. Eat within your calories, eat foods rich with vitamins. Give yourself a fighting chance. Have some exercise. Drink lots of water and be kind to yourself. Take some relaxing baths. Just care for your lifestyle in general. And step number three, if you don't use it, you can lose it. That is very true. So continuing to have a, you know, a pretty healthy sex life will help with your libido staying nice and level throughout your life. So that doesn't mean you have to be having sex every day and, you know, doing all of these big things. You can have sex every other day or, you know, two, three times a week. You can have sex once a week and masturbate whenever you can on the other days. As long as you are making sure that your mind is still actively sexual and you know you're still seeing yourself as a sexual being you're still able to see your partner as a sexual being as opposed to a roommate it will help with your confidence it will help with your general health it will help with your happiness and it feels great help with your flexibility it will help just just keep your sex life going that's you know we're humans we have a few basic needs Sex is one of them. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like a more personal experience with myself. Otherwise, I hope this helps.